almost there. Hill number 50, maybe? This is insane. It's uh, very pretty here. We're in the Chianti area where they make the wine. Today is going to be 38, 39 degrees. I think it's around that temperature right now. Whew. We're cycling the songboat, the Ciclovia da Zola Pizzitalia, or Eurofilo 7. Here in southern Tuscany, the route is signed as Sanchero della Bonifica. It's like a queen with many names. We ride on flat cycling lanes along green fields with sunflowers, pretty hilltop villages, cypress trees, and of course, vineyards. There's no one else, just us in the heat. It's all flat, so it's pretty easy, but there's hardly any shade or water. We go on at a slow pace and enjoy all the beauty around us. I mean, Tuscany has inspired many painters, and that's for a good reason. It actually feels a bit like cycling through a painting with all those vibrant colors, no cars, the quietness. There's just one little thing. Cycling in the heat, I guess it's a thing. You have to work a bit more climbing. Whew. The cool thing of climbing is that when you finish the climbing, you go down. And I love going down because it gives you a nice breeze. All of a sudden, we meet the hills. Hi, easy cycling lanes. Hi, horrible pebble stones and crazy steep climbs. Didn't I say this morning wasn't going to be that hard? Well, I was wrong. Too slippy to, to cycle on this. This is uh, less fun. <sighs> Just a short message to the Eurovelo staff. Please make uh, some uh, nicer service here. Asphalt or something. These rocks, tricky. It was just one of those days. The hills kept coming. Steep climbs that are very hard to conquer. But we had the time, I guess. As a cyclist, you have to be patient. I like to sweat. So we just kept going and uh, looking for water taps. Water can be so great. Fantastic, delicious, best thing ever. I thought we did all the hills, then it's 14% hill king. <sighs> Almost there. Hill number 50, maybe? Do you know that feeling? It's so steep that you can't go back on the bike, so the moment you stop, you just have to push your bike up, because it's too steep to jump on it. I mean, it's okay if I didn't have any luggage, but with all this stuff on it, I'm, I'm not able to push that. Oh, and I've got sun cream in my eye. Oh. Oh, 
possibility to spend your time. tree though because the campsite was already full and it was very expensive campsite, I think 50 euro. So we booked a very nice hotel for 60 euro with a spa, swimming pool. I don't think I need a spa, but a pool. Yeah, looks nice, sounds nice, sounds good. And there we go further. Push, 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 push. And then this happened. It was supposed to be a cycling path. I just said, yay, we did it with little hills. Now we do that AC cycling path. But it's, as you can see, kind of uh, wild. But it's the only way. Otherwise, you're on this mental road. People, please cut the grass. Can't wait for that pool, guys. And yes, it was possible to make it even harder for us. Insane. Oh my god. It turned out to be kind of a mountain bike trail. But well, we didn't want to go backwards, so we just kept going. Oh yes, and then I got a puncture. So this is where we got to store the bikes. There's actually some really cool machines here. Like, I don't know what it's being used for, but there's all these. And there's another one behind here. <laughs> Can you see it there? Interesting place. It's a chic, look there, yeah, chic hotel. The storage room is uh, a bit different than the rest of the place. And then it was time to relax, to enjoy our pure luxurious hotel and go have a look in the little city. So what happened yesterday, I know it now. I follow always my app, Pocket Earth, and cycling routes are already in it, which is really handy. But sometimes um, a route changed. Maybe they wanted to let it go that way, but they decided to do it different because of the owner of the land that didn't want to give permission. So they had to go over another, you know, another road. And But then I don't know exactly how it happens, but then I guess the people of the route don't give that information to the map maker or something like that, I'm going to ask. Um, so yeah, the cycling lane was on the other side of the water. Up. Now we're on the right track. It's nice. The only thing that makes me sad, it's another dump place. It seems that people here dump their trash here and there, I'll show you. Like here behind me. There's this trash and you see that quite a lot on well, we see it, we saw it a few times near cities when there's a cycling trail and then people throw their trash. Yeah. It's pretty horrible. But the trail is nice. No plans today. Very handy, you see them in more more places. Not all their stuff is great, but if you need something quickly, gas for example, they have it here. And Decathlon, you can find it in a lot of places now in Italy, Spain, France. Um, so, very handy. And it's actually, I hear the rain going here on the roof. So, we're inside for the rain. 
They were not stacking it raining. That's the way it goes. One of these. Some cream. Only have the small one. Decided to bring not the camping gas, but the MSR burner. I looked it up all online and they all had the MSR or Primus gas tanks. You can use both. But apparently all the shops we go, they have the camping gas in big additions, but not the Primus or the MSR. They will all come in really little volumes. I don't know why. I'm gonna get that March. We got a um, little towel and we got, um, we we'll get again, some uh, oil for the bikes. I mean, we're allowed to borrow their pump. It's too steep to stop. I want to stop, but it's so steep that maybe I won't be able to get on the bike again. So I have to go on. And on. There's quite a few cars here. This is hard. I hope I can stop in the band. I said to Virgo this morning it was going to be an easy day. 30 kilometers. I didn't know we were going to climb mountains. these cars. Uh, we took it very easy today and we thought we would be there in no time. It's all my mistake, sorry. And now it's actually really hard. But I think it's going down soon. Okay, well this is pretty. A few meters later, I cycled the whole way up this castle. That's nice. The reward. Pretty now. I don't like the twaddle on my GoPro on my head. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. See Florence. See if you're in a hurry. show on a picture or a video you go down and down and then you see that it's all Florence and Firenze you see it there with the basilic um, it's amazing I know you work so hard and then to see the city cool <coughs> we're at the campsite pretty posh here campsite of Florence. The last time I was here in Florence, there used to be a very old campsite. It was really, really horrible and expensive. This is expensive, but it's nice. Yay, we got in Florence. Time for some gluten-free beer and a nice, good meal. Next week, you will see more about Florence, because of course, we're going to explore and then do more cycling. Bye.